Hey players, life has that ability to beat you down and make you feel like you have zero control over what you experience sometimes. But there is one thing that you should know. There is a way to see the world from a different, more positive perspective. How? I'll share that with you right after this. When things completely suck, it's almost impossible for us to imagine that there's a possibility of a better life out there for us. It's not until we hit some sort of rock bottom that we begin to make our way back up to the top. And when you are ready to take that journey, here's what you need to know. Tip number one. It's okay to cry and feel defeated. Adults will always make it seem like you need to take the pain and keep moving forward, but that's not always the best thing to do. If you feel sad, then feel sad. If you wanna cry, then cry. It's not always about pretending like you can't get knocked down. It's about dusting off your knees and eventually getting back up. Tip number two, redirect your anger into something positive. Sometimes it's easy to lash out against the people that you know because you know that they'll take it. But when you don't redirect your anger into something positive, you stay in the cycle of being helpless and homeless. You feel angry because you can't get anything done, and then you feel weak because you can't get anything done. Instead of harboring those negative feelings, try doing something positive like going for a run, drawing, or writing in a journal. You need to push those negative feelings out in a way that you won't hurt anyone, including yourself. And as a side note, if you are one of those people who know someone suffering from depression, check out my video right here where I share with you five ways to help deal with someone with depression. Tip number three, surround yourself with good people. I know this can be tough, but finding good people is very different from expecting goodness from the people that you already know. Not every family member or friend is equipped with the skills to help you out in the way that you need it. So try finding a therapist, a counselor, or a support group with trained people that can help you in the best way possible. Tip number four, take responsibility and acknowledge what you have control over. For example, you have the right to say yes and no to the things that you choose to do. No one should have the right to force you to do things under their will. And if you are in that situation, try to understand that maybe you're staying in it out of fear or helplessness. Taking control starts with acknowledging that there is a problem and finding someone who can help pull you out of it. And tip number five, never forget the ones who have helped you. I know it's easy sometimes to get lost in the problems that you're going through, and sometimes you just can't even fathom recognizing what other people are attempting to do for you. But try, really try to acknowledge those who go out of their way to lend you a helping hand. Trust me, there are people out there who want to help you. Some of them are already in your lives, and some of them you don't even know yet. But you have to be open and compassionate to accept them when they come. Living in your own head prevents you from spreading true love and compassion with your heart. And therefore, everything that you encounter, good or bad, makes you the person that you are. But you, right now, and every moment going forward, have complete control over the person that you aim to be. What do you guys think though? What are some of the tough situations that you're going through right now? Leave your comments below and hopefully everyone there can help you out. I want to leave you off with this powerful quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson. Cultivate the habit of being grateful for every good thing that comes to you and to give thanks continuously. And because all things have contributed to your advancement, you should include all things in your gratitude. As always guys, love and peace. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I make a new video every Tuesday on a range of different topics, including self-help, dating, philosophy, and more. Plus, if you want exclusive stories and tips that I don't share in my videos, make sure to sign up for the Josh Speaks newsletter. The link is in the description below. And finally, a shout out to Alex Smith, who I think is incredibly brave for sending me an email asking me for advice on how to not feel alone at school. If you guys have experience with this, feel free to jump in the comment section below and leave your thoughts there.